Do you have Shark Tank? We do have Shark Tank. We don't even have Shark Tank. You don't have Shark Tank on Netflix? Not on Netflix. What? A second a shed. we're gonna go outside yeah we're gonna go outside very soon okay that is just trying to do a thing <laughs> just one second one second washing my hands. Do you mind? Did you touch me? <gasps> you can't be within six feet of me. Like a hockey stick length? Oh, you're such a Canadian. Hey? You know I knew you were a Canadian, but now I can see your stick. Well, I... Uh, oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think any of this is real. This is clearly Stranger Things. Those scenes where Eleven puts the blindfold on and goes into her own dream world. This is that. I mean, that's what we were going for, right? Oh yeah, look at that. This isn't Canadian. This is too scary, you know? What is this exactly? Like a Netflix dream world? I don't know. I don't see the Netflix logo anywhere. Besides, I can't take any more surprises in this world right now. I'm at my wits end. <laughs> ah! oh. Oh. I hate that. Oh boy. That gets me every time. The time for it to load is never the same. And then you forget you're waiting and then boom, it just shows up. At least fade it in. Ooh. It's terrible. Netflix, figure it out. Well, I guess this is a Netflix-themed episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's compare American vs. Canadian Netflix and TV shows slash movies in general for good measure. Hey. Perfect. Hello, welcome to a very special episode of the vlog. I am Joseph the Canadian. And I am Jason the American. And today we are in Netflix's void, or algorithm, in order to compare American vs. Canadian Netflix and TV shows and ultimately decide which one is better. Do you want to play a game? <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you want to play a game? Okay, Jigsaw. The game is called, Do You Have This? We'll both scour Netflix and other streaming well, services in our own countries. A little help here. And ask each other if the other has the TV show or movie we're looking at. I don't know how this void thing works. If someone doesn't have it, the point goes to the person who does. Whoever has the most points at the end will be declared the winner. And the loser will be turned into a Demogorgon. Oh, come on. What, what? This is the time for visual effects. That's all we got. Did you know the Demogorgon is the monster from Stranger Things? What are you, the Microsoft paperclip? Yes, sir. Anyway, teaser. We want four of you to be in our next video. What does that mean? Details in the description below, and we'll mention it later. So, look for that. But for now, let's begin. What? What's happening right now? What, I'm trying to find our show so we can start. But we're on YouTube. This is Netflix. Listen, whose dream world is this? Right. Sorry. Thank you. There it is. Hop in. What? Do you know how long it's going to take me to animate us hopping up in there? I said hop in. What are we waiting for? <gasps> and we're, wow, hey, oh my goodness. This is so nice to finally be with you in this void. Amazing, we have matching couches. Thanks. Isn't it? Thanks. Mine's a little bigger, but. Come on, of course, everything's bigger in America. <laughs> is Netflix bigger though? Like, are there more shows in the United States? I don't know. America? It definitely used to be true that the United States was like the best version of Netflix, but yeah. I don't know that that's true anymore. We want to look at the prices of each subscription, and on top of that, Hulu, which is not in Canada, and Crave, which is not in the United States. I think those compensate each other for each country, so we have to look at that and see what has what. Can we log on to Netflix or what? Yeah. I think at the end of this, if we find out one is better than the other. We, I can't wear your Canadian glasses and you can't wear my American glasses. I'll just put them on if mine is better and you'll put them on if yours is better. That's Because you're celebrating. If you don't win, you can't put them on. Okay. And you get turned into a demogorgon. 
We're gonna play the game. Do you have this? Both gonna look at Netflix, scour it, and rapid fire each other if you have the show that I'm looking at on my Netflix. I love this. I'm really looking forward to this game. I I'm wanna... excited. I've been excited for weeks. Do you wanna share your screen and show me? I'd love to see your home screen. This is very personal. Like, this is. <laughs> it's weird. gonna this see like, what is, you've been watching. This is like third base here. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Hey, I heard oh, this game. Oh, wow. That's cool. Number two in Canada. Yeah, this came out. This thing aired on uh, ESPN. Oh, what is this though? <laughs> Why is this showing up? See? Too hot to handle. What is that? I watched the preview to that yesterday. It looks pretty awful. I'm gonna share mine to you. Oh, smart. Oh, look, oh, at, that. look at. We gotta blur the hell out of this. <laughs> Do you have this one? The Last Dance. You must. This is the one, the Michael Jordan one. Nothing's showing up, my friend. So I know what happened is that it aired in e on ESPN in the United States, and I knew that it was coming on Netflix. Maybe that's not what the deal is in the United States, because we don't get ESPN over here. We have TSN. Wait a minute, is that one nothing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of things to look over Don't here. So, tell me. so what do we want to do? You want to go through the, the trending ones first? Yeah, I think so. What about the Willoughby's? Oh yeah, I got it. What about Parks and Rec? Ooh, no. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, yeah, but I believe we can get it somewhere else on another. It doesn't matter. Service. We're it... talking Netflix right now, my friend. No, no. I'm gonna look Parks and Rec and see if I can find it on my Amazon Prime. Yep. I got it. Look, I'm playing the first episode of Parks and Rec. There you have it, sir. All right. Okay. Do you have this show called All American? <sighs> That's a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Canada's supposed to be America, too. We do not have it. Wait, so is that a point for you? I think it's got to be. I mean, you don't have it. Fine. I relinquish the point. Thank you. It's 1-1. One, one. You know what I'd like to see from your Netflix versus my Netflix? What's that? Is the top 10 in Canada versus the top 10 in US today. Top 10 in Canada, number one, too hot to handle. Number one, too hot to handle. Netflix. This is like 10 years ago, YouTube, like put a picture of boobs and you'll get- Yeah, uh, you'll get people to click it. So this number two, which you don't have, is The Last Dance, Michael Jordan. Yeah, number two for us is Outer Banks. Oh, that's not our number three. Which is a very American. Is it? It's a location on the East Coast. Oh, really? I wouldn't have even known that. In I North mean, maybe Carolina. because I'm an idiot and maybe I don't know geography. That name means nothing to me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> number four is Waco, which I've never heard of. Not Waco, Waco. My number four is Waco, so we're even there. It's a oh, Waco. place in Texas. That's another name? Oh, no, no, I have no idea. See, look how Americanized my Netflix in Canada is. When you export to different countries, you, you do different uh, languages. They got to change the names of the cities and the things to make it more appealing. Like this should have been like Barrie, Ontario. <laughs> you know, Scarborough, that would have made more sense. Winnipeg, Saskatoon, Orangeville, St. John, Pickering, Hamilton. <laughs> there is a play called Hamilton. In my mind, it's that city down the street. Same with Burlington. You think of the Coat Factory. What's, hey, what, whoa, whoa, what's going whoa, whoa. on right now? I don't know. This is weird. Oh, I know what it is. What? I think it, Leah, my daughter. Leah, stop it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good one. Weeds, you have weeds. I feel like that's very American. Wait, no, wait, 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 we don't have it. I think we have it on Crave. Crave is where Canadians can watch HBO. That's the only way. Huh. The Handmaid's Tale. What is that on though in the United States? That's a Hulu original. Yeah. So that so was made up yeah. for Hulu. No Hulu in Canada. So I think a lot of what Hulu has, you'll see on Crave in Canada. This is Crave. Okay. Look at that. You got HBO, Showtime, Stars, yeah. Last Week Tonight. That's obviously they're all HBO. And of course, Letterkenny is on Crave. We have Letterkenny on Hulu. Do you really? Yeah. Now Letterkenny is a Crave original. Like it, it, this is where it first airs is on this, on this platform. Because this um, is telling me it's a Hulu original. A what? <laughs> it says on the bottom here, Hulu originals. No, mine says Crave original. You liar. Yeah, oh my God, look at it. A Hulu original Letterkenny. Oh my God, they changed the logo. The logo has the Hulu original in it. Oh my goodness. They can't both claim that they're the original. My whole life is ruined. <laughs> I don't understand. That's hilarious. You want to get Crave and get HBO and movies, it's $20 a month. Okay. So how much is Hulu? Hulu is $11.99 a month for the premium. Do you know how much HBO would be? HBO is, I think, a little bit more expensive, but I would do that through Amazon. So HBO is $15 a month. Can we give Canada a point for that pricing? Aren't we just finding out that it's just, it's Crave is Hulu? Yeah, but it's also HBO. But how much is your Crave? $20. So you add $11.99 yeah. is Hulu. 
Yeah. But then you gotta add, get HBO. What was it? $15, right? If you add the money together, yours is like, what, $26, $27? Yeah. Ours is $20. If you convert oh US my gosh dollars. that's like 400 dollars canadian yeah <laughs> have i convinced you enough sir it's such a better deal oh, all right i'll give you a point for that <laughs> finally it only took 35 minutes <laughs> it's a micro point i don't think so i think it's a pretty big point two one should we go back to our netflix game real quick sure yep yeah we have friends on netflix i think they got rid of friends on netflix they did they got rid of it friends has added subscription on hulu it's like crazy more expensive it's a bunch of other shows it's hulu plus live tv but it's 60 dollars a month oh my god yeah fresh prince we got fresh prince no we don't i don't even think we have fresh prince i'm gonna give you a point for friends and fresh prince three to one for canada you have the money pit no what is it it's a comedy it's a movie tom hanks no we don't <gasps> I'm giving you the point. Yes. I found a needle in a haystack. Great too. I had to work a lot harder than you just did. An arbitrary movie you just came up with. You got lucky. It's not arbitrary. I really like that movie. Can I put these on yet? No. Can what? I put them on? What, what, are you, what are you doing? That's what? a jinx right there. Oh, I'll show you. We'll see what happens now. Okay. So I, Tanya, and Game Night. Two good movies. Not on Netflix. Really? How about Ocean's 8? No Ocean's 8. What? How about 22 Jump Street? 21. Guess what? I think I'm taking a point. 4-2 for all yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, take Thanks. the point and I'm going to keep looking. Can I put these on yet? Can I put them on? Can I put these on yet? That's a jinx right there. Do you have the other guys? Yep. Do you have The Hangover? Yep, I'm just was about to ask you. Damn. I have The Dark Knight? They might have gotten rid of it. It's not on here anymore. Oh, looks like we have Forrest Gump. We do not have Forrest Gump. Oh, no. It's weird, the movies that they have and don't have versus... You know them. what happens is that there's a there's a selling thing between countries and like it's all distribution and it's a very part of the business. It's an ever-fluctuating thing. Like you, yeah. you, could, you could check next week and I might have all the things that you don't have and you might have all exactly. the things. What about Groundhog Day? Got it. But do you have Groundhog Day? Yes. Coming to America? Uh, nope. Good Will hunting. You know, you're supposed to, we're supposed to go back and forth here. No. <sighs> it's no, it's hard to go back and forth when you have nothing. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. Do you have bad boys? <laughs> yes. Wait, let me check. <laughs> you know what I'm realizing is that there's so much more on here that I didn't know that we had. Do you have Groundhog Day? Stop it. You know what, Jason? I don't think I like that shirt you're wearing anymore. It's annoying. Please. Can you change your shirt, please? Yeah, okay. Great. <sighs> How's this? See, that's much better. What do you think? It's all right. You know, I wonder what would have happened if you said no to changing your shirt. You don't think anything bad would happen, do you? Hmm. Hmm. It's all right. How's this? <sighs> you know, I'm not sure about that shirt you're wearing anymore. You don't like my shirt? Can you change it? No. Huh. Yeah. What's the update on your isolation? The other day, it doesn't sound very good when I say it, but we found a bat in our attic and our oh attic God. is basically at the same level as our house. So you just like open a door like a closet and you're in your attic. You're the Batman. And the kids found it. Was it alive? You have to see if it's actually alive or not. You want to bring a Nerf gun? Shoot it with a Nerf gun? Yeah. You're going to shoot it and then we're going to see if it moves or not. So Ready? <laughs> I think it's dead. It's been down here. It's not moving, guys. Yeah, it's dead. So what are you going to do with it? I'm going to throw it out. Throw it out. Luckily, it was in a bin, so I never had to touch it. I bagged it up properly, a couple different bags, and I tossed it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it was on National Bat Awareness Day. No, it wasn't. I swear to God. When did you change your shirt again? I, I've been wearing this the whole time. Okay. That's our old volleyball team shirt when we played together. Mr. Franks. That's right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't stop doing that. What about you? I got a haircut. Oh, yeah. You did look different. My wife cut my hair. How'd that go? Okay. Here we go. How do you feel? You're not going to look very good. <laughs> Have confidence. Oh, no. What do you mean? Is it coming off? Oh, no. It's really uh, close, to, really close to your skin. It is? Yeah. It's like right... <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> not a good start. It's a very difficult decent haircut to get because it's gotta go from like, nothing to something back to nothing again. Mm -hmm. Carly's never cut anyone's hair. Does that feel better? <laughs> no. You don't have to pull too hard. Yeah, that's good. Wait, you smiling. <laughs> I'm smiling a little too close. It's pretty good. Yes. Might be the best haircut I ever got. 
This is incredible. I wish I could see better. I should get my glasses on. <laughs> now you definitely sound like my nono. My nono was a barber in the Four Seasons Hotel in Toronto for like years and years and years, and he always cut our hair when we were young in his basement. And that's what he would say after about 10 minutes. Says, Angelina, I got my glasses. I cannot see a thing. You literally just said that. Oops. No oops. Less oops. Impressive. Really good. Congratulations. Oh, Thank I'm you. Sweating. <sighs> Wow. Like, I was so impressed. Honestly, it might be one of the better haircuts I've ever gotten. Wow. That's high praise. Well, tell her I think she did a fantastic job. Thank you. <laughs> you got the right clippers, I guess, too, huh? Yeah, well, I have the thing that's usually for my beard. But... Let me ask you about the beard trimming. Okay. I have trouble trimming this without making a complete disaster of everything. It's on the floor. Somehow there's some on the ceiling. It's it's in the bathtub. Like, it's everywhere. I have a system. I have a, it's a, like a half of a smock where it Velcros around your neck and then it attaches to the mirror. So everything falls right there and I scoop it into the garbage at the end, just whoop. That's, I need that. Yeah. I almost decide never to shave because it bothers me so much. I just can't even. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a sec. Isn't it your birthday? Happy birthday. Thanks. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I can get this for you as a gift. Future Joseph here. I'm just editing this episode. I remembered I got to get him the beard bib. I just ordered it on Amazon and it's being shipped to his house. So hopefully in a few days we'll get his reaction. Joseph surprised me with Beard bib. Can you believe that? A beard bib. Great. Let's see how this thing works. <laughs> oh no! What have I done? It's doing a good job. And you don't drop any hair in the garbage. I'm a big fan. Thanks. My quarantine would be remiss if I didn't mention Leah, my daughter. One of the happy. No, what's she up to? Is she? Uh, how's daddy uh, daycare she's, going? She's running that daycare. She's teaching me. Like she's, <laughs> it feels odd for a year and a half year old to be this with it. She's taking advantage of you. She's bossing me around. No, no, no. <laughs> I love to dance with no pants and balloons in my hands. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Amazon Prime. What is yours, your US pricing? I think it's about 120 bucks a year. So that's crazy because the Canadian Amazon Prime is $79 a year. You. What are we getting that is more that makes it I worth don't that know. Much more? I, Shouldn't it be more Canadian dollars? That's the thing. If you do the exchange rate, it's even more. Do you get access to Showtime? I mean, I'm assuming it's Prime. No, 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 no. All that stuff, again, don't forget, is on Crave. Amazon doesn't offer that as well? No, not in Canada. Although it looks like Prime has stacked TV that gives you cable shows. So I also pay for cable. I have normal cable, I have Bell. TV and internet, and I feel like I'm getting screwed <laughs> Why for the you price. Why would cable if you have all the other stuff? Something about it that we like to record the shows, and it's just easier, it's just all there, we know how it works. Yeah. I don't know what, you're, I don't you're, know. You're being screwed. There's no reason for you to have live TV. It's 2020, cut the cord, cut it. I pay $169 for cable and internet. On top of everything else that you buy? On you... top of my subscriptions to Netflix and Prime. So you're spending over $200 a month. Yeah, that's not what you're spending at all? We only What's buy your internet, bill? internet, so it's $57 a month. That's it? That's it. Okay, oh my God. How much are you paying for internet? $64 a month. Plans aside though. Just if we go with what the subscription costs are altogether. Yes. So $20 is Crave, plus $13.99 Netflix plus 568 is $39. And I get basically the same amount of possible content for $39. So $10 plus $12.99 for Netflix plus $11.99 for Hulu gives me $34.98. So on paper it's cheaper, but if you do the exchange rate. All right, do the exchange rate. So $34 into Canadian dollars, my XE currency app. The answer is oh, $49. Oh. Wow, that's a big difference. The price for Canada is clearly better because not only do you have those things, if you have Crave, you have HBO and you're not paying for it. Whereas if I were to get HBO, it'd be an additional fifteen ninety nine a month. Oh, wow. Which is fifty ninety seven. Is that yeah, a point for me? Absolutely. That's frustrating to me. That's a huge point. I can't stand that, that it's that much more. You're getting sometimes better shows too. Deprived, I feel. I want to quickly interject here because we are doing a trivia show in our next episode and we want you. Me? Two Canadians. No, not you. Them. Oh, me. Anyways, we want two Canadians and two Americans to be on their I'm own American. teams. You cannot. 
be in the trivia show. Why? You're writing the questions. But I'll pretend I don't know it. Uh, we'll talk offline. I know what that means. It means no. So if you want to be on, here's what you have to do. Subscribe, obviously. Follow at Joseph underscore video on Instagram and Twitter. Go look at the link in the description and you can sign up right there to be picked, possibly. I don't see it here. I want to submit to be on it. You just don't get it. But I like it. I'm going to be good at that. I probably know a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, you might. There will be winners. You're going to win something. Come on, what else are you going to do? You're at home yeah. doing nothing. Something to do. Let's have fun. Do you want to look at a few more titles? All right, like, I guess we can try. Let's do... Oh my God, there's a Canadian genre here. I don't have Canadian genre. I wonder if you have these then. You have Shit's Creek, right? Yes. You have Kim's Convenience. Yep. Working Moms. Uh, we have that. Trailer Park Boys. No. Yes. Now you definitely don't have Dragons Den because that's the Shark Tank of Canada. Do you have Shark Tank? We do have Shark Tank. This is over. What do you mean? It's an American show. You have the Canadian version of Shark Tank. Yeah. And you have Shark Tank, and we don't <laughs> even have Shark Tank. You don't have Shark Tank on Netflix? Not on Netflix. It's what? gonna have to be. A, that would be a Hulu thing. Oh my God. Okay. There's no points here because. Clearly, I've won regardless. I don't. Um, congratulations. <laughs> you really did it. Thank you. I have to go to less places to get everything. You go to less places, you get more, and you pay less. Oh, that's just nice. Enjoy it. My friend, I believe Canada has won, defeated the United States in the great battle of Netflix and streaming no. services. I'm going to poof you away now into a demo. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, God, he's going to eat me now. Do you have your glasses? Because you, you, you can gloat. I can gloat. It's so great. <laughs> ah! Oh! That's right, we're here. That was strange. <laughs> okay, I'll go back. Oh, yes. <laughs> I really learned a lot. I don't know about you. And I hope you enjoyed it too. We hope you watch more of our stuff. Over here, I took Jason to Montreal to eat poutine. And this one is where Jason and I actually met at the border during isolation, even though we weren't allowed to cross. And over here, if you want to subscribe, please do. And you can hit the bell to get notifications when we put out new videos. We'd love to see you again. I'm Joseph. That's Demagogue and Jason. Bye-bye.